Hey guys, how's it going? So today I would like to address a common misconception that people have about Dreamcast collecting and that is most people think that's a very expensive system to collect for. What I'm here to tell you is that in actuality there is still a whole ton of amazing Dreamcast games that you can still get for a relatively affordable price and that's what I want to talk about in uh, this video. So, the criteria that it takes in order for these games to make it onto my list is that when they're listed on eBay this does not include shipping. When they're listed on eBay, they are $15 and under. No exceptions, they have to be $15 and under. And, uh, oh, and I'm quite serious when I say there's like a whole ton of uh, great Dreamcast games like that you can get for a great price because if I were to like list all these uh, games in like one video, it would be way too long. So obviously what I've decided to do is basically kind of, you know, like make a mini-series about th this topic. And in each one of these videos, I'm going to be talking about five games in each one of them. So I really hope you guys enjoy the series and uh, because I, I really want to make these side of videos because, you know, I really want to help like, dr you know, fellow Dreamcast collectors in getting great games for the Dreamcast because it's a, such a phenomenal system to enjoy and I, I'd rather have you guys do it. Uh, enjoy the system without burning your wallet. So, before I go on, there's one more thing I would like to say, and that is, I have to say like a little disclaimer. And the disclaimer is, is that you know, due to like the way that the retro video game market is, prices change. So obviously, if you see this game sometime in the future and they're going for way more than fifteen dollars, sorry, there's nothing I can do about that. But what I can guarantee though is that at the time I make this video. These games are $15 and under. So, with that out of the way, let's talk about five great Dreamcast games that you can get on a budget. So the first game I'd like to talk about is Alien Front Online. This is a fantastic game, and it's basically a tank simulation game, which has a story that centers around like aliens invading Earth and stuff like that. And uh, the cool thing that this game does is that you can play as either the aliens or the army side. And uh, I must say, this is by far the best tank simulation game I have ever played. And uh, the gameplay is great, it's very addicting, and yeah, it has really great gameplay. But on top of that great gameplay, I think, personally, that this game has great graphics. At least for the time. Because, like, oh, well, okay. So, I often call this game the battlefield of the Sega Dreamcast. And the reason why I call it that is because in the game there are like destructible buildings that you can blow up and all that kind of stuff and it is so amazing that Sega was actually able to pull uh, you know stuff like that on the Sega Dreamcast and on top of that the game looks absolutely gorgeous especially in VGA um, and one more thing I would like to say about this game is that it is revolutionary because you know the title Alien Front Online yes this game is actually able to go online and in fact like there were some Dreamcast fans that actually brought back the servers online for this game again very recently, like a couple months ago. I played it and it's a whole heck of a lot of fun. Now, I'm sure there were games that were online before this game, but what makes this one revolutionary is because if you look on the cover, it says that it has real-time voice chat. This is the very first console game to have real-time voice chat and that is amazing. Now, unfortunately, I don't have the Dreamcast microphone, and the reason is is because, like, okay, so this game originally came in like a cardboard box along, and inside that cardboard box would be, of course, the jewel case and the microphone. I obviously don't have that because, you know, it's a lot more expensive than this, the, just the jewel case version, because everybody wants that instead. But what I will say, though, is that because everybody wants that, the jewel case version of this game is stupidly cheap stupidly cheap. I mean like, I, it is so cheap that I must say this is like one of the cheapest Dreamcast games that I ever got for my Dreamcast library. So, is it absolutely worth the uh, the price I got it for? Oh yeah it is. This game is fantastic. I would definitely recommend adding this game to your Dreamcast collection. So the next game I'd like to talk about is Crazy Taxi. I'm sure you guys know what this is. This is a really popular game, but if you do not know what it is, uh, essentially, you're a cabbie and you just drive through the streets of San Francisco and take people from destination to destination. But this game does not play like a simulator. It is the 
has the most off the wall and craziest gameplay you will ever see. It is so fun and rewarding to play this game. Um, and it has a really good soundtrack to it as well. It is so fun. Uh, this game is great. That's all I have to say with this game. This game is great. And the good thing is that there are so many copies of this game because of how popular it was back in the day that this game has stayed relatively affordable for the Dreamcast. And, you know, so if you ever find a copy of Crazy Taxi for the Dreamcast, definitely pick your hat, get, definitely get your hands a copy of this game. So there are many great fighting games for the Sega Dreamcast, but the unfortunate thing about them is that most of them do not qualify underneath my $15 and under range, which is a bummer, but it is what it is. But fortunately, there is a great fighting game for the Sega Dreamcast that does qualify under the $15 and under range. And that game is Dead or Alive 2. And uh, this game is great. Um, I know some people probably like it for like the really uh, attractive uh, people that are in this game. Uh, <laughs> but uh, uh, in, I must say, I must comment on that because this game is really a technical showpiece for the Dreamcast because it has really detailed characters and on top of that it runs on a really smooth 60 frames per second but the reason why I like this game is the gameplay um, it's I think the gameplay is very similar to Soul Calibur uh, and, and I'll explain what I mean basically both of these games are great button mashing games and um, so if you ever want to like uh, make this into like a party game where you just play with a lot of friends and stuff like that and, and showcase like the Dreamcast uh, like amazing graphics and stuff like that, I highly recommend Dead or Alive 2. It's a great game. And I think, now that I'm looking at the back of this uh, the box here, this thing supports four players. I have no idea how it does that, but somehow it supports four players and that definitely makes it a great reason to add this game to your Dreamcast collection. So if you ever find Dead or Alive 2 for the Sega Dreamcast, get it. I'm not a big fan of sports games. I'll put that out of the way. But there is a fantastic sports game that I would definitely recommend for the Sega Dreamcast. And that game is NBA Showtime, NBA on NBC. This is a super fun game and I definitely recommend it with people. Um, it definitely reminds me of NBA Jam, and there's actually a reason for that. So this game was developed by Midway, and Midway, by the way, made a lot of great games for the Dreamcast. Um, so the original Mi NBA Jam was made by Midway, and then it got s the friend. Then they sold the franchise to Acclaim, and basically what happened is that Acclaim just took it downhill from there on. But the original developers that worked on the original NBA Jam continue making like NBA Jam like games for consoles and stuff like that and then for the Dreamcast they made NBA Showtime and NBC so if you ever want to play an NBA Jam like game for the Sega Dreamcast look no further than NBA Showtime on NBC so the last but not least game that I would like to talk about in this video is Tokyo Extreme Racer I love this game. I love this game so much. Um, and I explain why I love it so much in a little bit. So, this game is a racing game. And it takes place on a Japanese highway and you get go against other rival cars. The reason why I love this game so much is because it got an interesting game mechanic that I've never seen in any other racing game. And in fact, because of the mechanic, I actually call this game a very interesting name. And that is, I call it a fighting racing game. And the reason why I call it that is because when you're going against other opponents, there are two health bars at the top of the screen. Kind of like a fighting game. And the way that the health system works is that if you are ahead of your opponent, his life bar will drain. But if he's ahead of you, your life bar will drain. And essentially, the gameplay of this game basically consists of like, you are always trying to be first. You're always trying to be ahead of your opponent. And in doing so, it is such a great adrenaline rush. I absolutely love playing this game. In fact, I love this game so much that I actually will call it, along with its sequel, Tokyo Extreme Racer 2, my favorite racing game of all time. And I would definitely recommend it to you guys, especially uh, for this list. The sad thing though is that 
um, unfortunately, people are starting to realize how good this game is, and it's rapidly approaching the $15 mark. So if you are like you have any semblance of interest in this game, definitely pick it up before it gets really expensive. Because who knows? Maybe this because uh, this game I almost forgot to mention. This is a Dreamcast exclusive. So yeah, so my favorite racing game of all time can only be played on the Sega Dreamcast. Yeah, so yeah, definitely pick it up before uh, it gets really expensive. So yeah, that's basically all the games that I'm going to mention in today's video. Um, I'm probably going to make more videos like this because I really want to help uh, especially the uh, new Dreamcast collectors out because the Dreamcast is such a great system to collect for and it definitely is more satisfying when you can get great Dreamcast games for a great price and I want to help you guys out with that. So with that being said, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and may the dream be with you.